Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Rook Tech. We know if I fight the Killer Turtles and the Catapult Fray through, we're going to do a duel. Is that wise? No, duels are the worst. If you ask me, duels are the worst. We can only get, well, no matter what we do, we can only take one part of our choosing, and it doesn't do anything if you take more than one, because the random parts you get are normally worthless. <coughs> you get like, um,. heat sinks and armor parts and that kind of stuff. The chance that you get something useful is incredibly low compared to the amount of money you gain. We have the gorse, we have the warfare suit. I think I should take the leader part. What do we have as weapons? A heavy PPC and LBX-10. We'll take the leader and off we go. So here we go, let's hope for the best. Normally these guys are very, very good. Excellent sensors, excellent weapons, excellent pilots, best machines they can have. This is no trash for fighting here. This is always the elite. So we're trying to get high ground as much as we can. We don't have the mobility to reduce hitting chances on us that much. So the only real chance we have is to get high ground and to move from the left to the right to the right to the left as we always do when we get a mountain question is, can we reach it before they reach us, because they will be on the roof. Um, oh crap, here they are. And what are they? Oh, you have to be kidding me. A timber wolf, for those who don't know, is a mad cat. You cannot be serious. How am I supposed to fight something like that? Well, I did hit with both shots, although that will do nothing because when this start, thing starts fighting back... I mean, just look at the amount of... Oh my god. We're outclassed here. That's just one machine, and that one machine would be enough to break us into parts. Easily. This is a mad cat, and it's not even a normal mad cat, because this is has uh, special PPCs, not the normal LRMs, but MMMs. So we're not we're not really uh, we're not really capable of destroying this guy with the weapons we have or the forces we have. I mean, if we had all four cataphracts, maybe maybe we can. Someone here has a high rate out of uh, Oh my god. This guy has a rotary out of cannon. Like really high. The only good thing is that I assume that he will run out of his ammunition really soon. No, he has five light AC-5s. Okay, that sounds crazy now, but he's not the main target. Because I think he will run out of ammunition pretty soon, and then he just has the medium lasers. This guy, however, is a problem. Hmm. At the moment, we're not hitting very good because we're uh, jumping too much. Maybe we should even try to get higher up. Shoot. Yeah, they're getting some damage reduction, but that's no wonder. Oh crap, he unchamped his money. Oh, and we lost evasive. Fantastic. Okay. We need higher ground. We could fire, but we actually have to brace to get rid of the movement problem. <clears throat> We're standing very close together, but I cannot change that at the moment. Um... Now we have to find out this guy. 
Well, he is open. Theoretically, he is open. And he is using an XL engine for sure. Ow. It's not really light damage when you come to think of it. We do not have a lot of room to maneuver. We're still firing slugs at this guy. Because obviously we are not. Ow. Oh, great. Good thing we weren't up there. They have the better pilots, the better mechs, but I have the better positioning. So I say, fine. Uh, he's faster than we are. The sensor impairing is really bad for us because that means we're losing a chance to hit every time they do that. We have an engine crit, not that that does anything. It will just heat him up a little, but not, not drastically. And we're getting whacked. I have no idea how we should fight these guys with the weapons we have. Yeah, go a little bit up, a little bit higher up. This is not going to help us. If we want to kill this guy, we have to punch through. Oh, crap. Okay, this could be worse. This could be worse. This is dangerous because our own machine is in the way. So we're not firing this guy, we're just firing this guy. Hope we don't shoot our own people. And we hit everything but our enemy. I wonder why this guy's not running out of ammunition. He's firing like four shots a turn. That's really a lot of Daka every time he pulls that trigger. some lag, but that doesn't change anything. He's for some reason not using his missiles, which is, which is really strange. It doesn't make any sense. We got another hit in. I think we've taken over a hundred damage already. Just from this idiot's. Yeah, he's stressed, but that doesn't help us any. We need to take shoulder knots. Oh, no. oh, there he goes. <gasps> he's got an exchange of plus plus. That is good tech there. Good tech there, sir. Good tech. We can get our hands on that. That would be an excellent pick as loot. What we'll do, we'll go for vigilance. Yeah, he's unsettled. I would be unsettled. Because you're all alone now. You do not have the highest hitting weapons, you just have a lot of them. Should we fire? No, we're firing. We're firing cluster ammunition. Because now we're through. His big strength lies in close combat. <laughs> close call. 
So far damage is okay. It's not negligible, but it's it's okay. We're not taking tons of damage. And his torso is open. Patchwork materials? Why should a machine of your quality be built with patchwork materials? That doesn't make any sense. Unless this is some kind of weird version. We destroyed feral fibers. Why? What? How? Oh, only three are firing. That means he just lost the weapon. Oh, he's getting closer. He's not firing. Why is he not firing? Perhaps these... Um, should we just stand and look over? I think we can. Because I don't want to shoot my guy in the back. Damage is minimal. Payment is good. Damage is existing, but... Yeah, okay. Nothing I can do. Now let's see, this is the th timber wolf. Okay, plus 10 heat sinking. Not really impressive affinities, if you ask me. And that is the Axeman. Maybe there is an answer here for that. Jump jets, five auto cannons, medium lasers, two tons of ammunition, targeting computer. Ooh, impressive. We cannot take missiles. That is the light PPC thunderclap. Five tons for slots, 46. Where heat? Seventeen percent jump chains. The range is okay. It's an idea. 600 meters. That's a terrible range. 10% chance to jam. It weighs very little, though. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. Battle Fist is totally worthless for us. Um, we're not into Endo Steel. XL reactor is uh, XL gyro is very good because that's a weight of but we want to have a defensive uh, gyro if we can improved that's okay a heat bank minus eight heat not really what we wanted sensor tracker is always a good choice um, this is just for me and we don't that need that that is very good it weighs very little. Um, but it's a light active probe and we're heavy machines, so we're not really into that. I think I'll take the light PPC with clap. It's not quick sell. Between rapid fire or fast charging the capacitor. Hmm. This is a dangerous weapon. It's like it's like a large laser from the tonnage. Uh, with less range, a little bit less range, same amount of heat, and. Not the same range, though. As crazy as it sounds, not sure what to take. I mean, this helps against heat damage, but we rarely fight people that do heat damage. That's a given. 
the XL gyro sounds very good, but again, normally we should go for the defensive gyro rather than um, an XL gyro. Then on the other hand, the help with the um, with the weight would really help. I'm not so into this auto cannon thing. Yes, they're light, but the range is bad. I was like, I'll take that. We got the sensor tracker, which is very good. I like sensor trackers a lot. Six days, no. I'll do the repair myself. Uh, <clears throat> okay, who's the mo who's the most most damaged one? You are. We have three days to get you up and running, sir. Three days is our limit. Actually, I don't want to have you the sensor sniper. I want you to have sensor tracker because I, I really really like the sensor tracker this is three days this is still three days this is four okay this is the best we can do at the moment must be enough. We don't have ammo for the um, AMS, so that's it. I'll let you know when that's done. Your armor is low. Your armor is really low. So you've got the sensor tracker. That's okay. We just need to armor you up to our standards again. We have good technicians or what? Oh, that's too much. That's the best I can do. Fine by me. Three days. Three days is the number. Where is your armor weak? Okay, all in all, it's not terrible. The question is, do we have someone who has, you know, a real gap in his defenses? Interestingly enough, it seems like, you know, if we have someone with an arm uh, that has terrible armor loss, then that's a problem. He's got the command console. I cannot squeeze. Um, something into that, for example, I cannot I cannot squeeze um, a sensor tracker into that because then the command module will just be removed. So we cannot do that. Right. I'll get into so let's put him here. Storage. Do we want to sell any of the machines? Actually, at the moment, we don't have to because we have the coin just to pay for the uh, parts. When we look at the finances, mech parts, um, cargo gear is here. Where is the weight of the... Or is that the combined weight of the gear? Cargo mech parts. It's it's nine hundred and one. You know what? We keep the parts. Who cares? Nine hundred. That's not even half a mission. That's not even partially a mission. That's nothing. We can pay that for days. Uh, we can sell the medium lasers. We're not into that. We're not into medium pulse lasers anyway. When you look at it, the PPC clap is really worth a lot of money. 
you would not believe it, but it is. I'm not super proud of that weapon. Um, got my problems with that, but we'll see. Jump boosters. We can sell all the small jump chats, but we're not going to use them anyway. We can sell the sensor basics. We can sell the ammo for missiles, because we're never going to use missiles anyway. And we're good to go. And as always, I thank you for watching. Bye.